chain, birth movers change in the game. No post office, we stand for time. Took a slice out of the big apple, made apple pies, family size. Leather bombers and Nike Sakai. Dangerous corners, you better pray that tomorrow arrives. Rap, sugar, Ray Robinson, nothing sweet. Y'all too out of shape to even box with me. Heavyweight, I know my way around the ring. Just like Shorty, know a way around a storm. Making hits with hit boy, only gotta do is hit record. Record breaking news, had to show up just to fill a void. Confused boy, little boys, y'all better keep your poise. Leave me out of the weasel. Be cool when you see me, I'm hot at all that rap demon. The hood know you, so we don't buy or believe in it. Locked in on the instrumental, I took back the key to this. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have proud the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go back. Meet Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. What I'm saying, the top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? Uh, I would have proud the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go back. Meet Joe Black. What I'm saying, people saying what's already been said. Predictions, I don't listen, it's already in my head, no funny. Your most hungry place, I was past that in 28. Underground tapes, as my ass captain publishes stakes. As we slide in the G ride, I've been getting criticized. It's keeping me energized. Create with a business mind, I'm from where killers reside. A wild hood, only new wounds since my childhood. Say anything in their raps, cause it sound good. Don't even mean what they say, horrible outlook. Y'all ain't really about this house. Y'all was in the house with it. We don't respect fake jewelry and silly outfits. Window down, blowing out. Great tits, New York's J. Prince on Houston Street. I caught the bounce before my even bounced the beat. I took the hard way in it, man, it's the route for me. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have crowned the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have crowned the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black, meet Joe Black. Why would I ever have to cop a chain again when it can be chain birth most of the chains in the game? Why would I? Yeah. You're in the presence of the realist essence I've been serving lessons since the days of my adolescence On the Cypress block, young buck holding the Like we knew it all, not afraid to do it all Matter of fact, I look back and do it all I could remember the haters say the game will ruin y'all What's that to me? Don't give up, give up out a hater Let them, let them like the, like the in my paper They call me Big Dog riding with the hillbilly Cube won't stay in with the living Really became a boss many years back when I'm gone. Can be can be pull your tears back. We put the bang and bang and produce the producer, producer, producer. You, 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 you got no chance of hanging. They took the tails when you're flipping the quarter. We ain't slowing down, we crash it through the border. border, border, border. When you feel it in your soul, lift the sound system. Let's turn it up, up a little louder. Turn it up, up a little louder. Turn it up. We never turn it down. Universal sound when we hold the pound. Take a look around when we touch the town. Not the way something in my big black J's. Corny, corny, corny. Get stuck in the maze. We never suffer fools. Had enough of you. False friends and loose ends make me wanna want to fool. fool. We got another world tour, touching every shore, from Cali to Singapore. Every day I'm seeing more, I'm seeing more. In the temple as we rock up tempo instrumental. I saw my dream in a dream, then I woke up. Put the dream team together, now we, now we. Uh, uh, one, 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 one time. One, one time. So let the rhythm hit them, just let the rhythm hit them. Cause when you feel it in your soul, lift the sound system. Let's turn it up. Up, a little louder, turn it up. Oh, a little louder, turn it up. First open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, our new season begins with an NFC South matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. 
And we are underway from the Superdome. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Gibson to start the drive and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up well in every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down Second and six, just inside the 30. Hey, check check. Love now. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now, one for one, a lot more to go. Strike, check, strike. Throw, 52. Strike, strike, check, two. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. Give them 18 on the play. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because of zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Love. And that's going to be caught, T. Higgins. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Ertz over the middle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. To throw now, here's Love. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Gibson will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game flow to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Here's a Louisiana native from the town of Jennings. It's Travis Etienne. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? He's going to wind up and air it out. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Love. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he is going to have a Saints first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. First and 10. To the air again, Love. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Burns. And the Panthers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Now ETN to start the drive. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, going back to Patterson. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Smith. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 26. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double cover. But how about this guy? 
He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw completes a flyer move. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Hey, let's face it. You can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quick in the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Now Rodgers. And he wisely will throw that one away. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he did. Santos' kick is up and through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Here we go. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. A.J. Boye with a pick. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From the 30 on second down, Rodgers. This is Smith with a grab. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Etienne is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. That's going to go to a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Now it's Rodgers. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the... How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. 
Peoples Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they and the ball comes out. Love lost it, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, Number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. After the sack on first down, Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Rodgers going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now drive this start with great field position. is facing fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the game, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have more bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams trying to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. From just shy of midfield, Love. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And he comes back with one complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 39. Throwing, Love. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Going to throw deep for the end zone. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Panthers are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. Zone coverage. So he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him. And he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic. I think it was that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On second and 11 now. Rodgers trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. to throw. It's Rodgers. And this one complete to Smith. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, Keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board. Those are the plays they need to continue to convert. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Rodgers. It's caught. Smith. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 24-yard line. A good pick up there at 22. First and ten, it's Patterson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. On second and 12, Rodgers. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Sterling Shepard, 25 yards for the touchdown. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it's in the center. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small magical spray to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jalen Thompson picks it. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage and turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Brings up second and four at the 35-yard line. Love. And now here is another interception. A.J. Boye with a pick. And the Panthers are going to get the football here at their own 23. And still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a gain of 35. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument the quickness beats size. How about the example right here? Second and 12, Rodgers looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. And the Saints will take over here at their own 12-yard line. And that's back-to-back -back drives that have looked pretty good. The offense was moving the ball, but in both cases, the defense comes up with a big INT to get off the field. How about the layers of intrigue that continue to get added as we watch this game unfold? Both offenses, they're a little bit disturbed for how their drives ended. How will each respond now and can either mount another positive series that ends in points for their team? And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass 
is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Here's Love. And my goodness, another interception. And the Panthers are going to get it back here just past the 35. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and set packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. On second down, a run with ETN. And room there to work it inside the 25. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Jamar Chase already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1 0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. Peoples Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Okay, right. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. That's good for a Saints. First down, love to pass. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. On first and ten, Love, throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Again, it's Love. And now here is another interception. Picked off by David Long. The 40. The 20. 10. 5. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Carter hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this room of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one.
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Over this advantage, this defense knew the passes were coming. And they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. And they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Hey, 88, 88, 88. <laughs> Throwing now is Rodgers. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Saints are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. What a stand there defensively. They forced the third and goal. Force them into what they think will be a passing situation. And then they make sure to lock up all the receivers and come away with the interception. Sounds simple, but that was really well done. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And it won't count for six. He's brought down, but inside the five. First and goal at the four-yard line. So now our referee looking at the sideline saying, are you sure? But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession of the fumble recovery. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. Second time in this game, Charles. Squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on him. You're right. Got the lucky bounce. Able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to it. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent gain. And he'll be brought down just shy of 45. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two to throw now. Here's Love. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 33. Love looking to throw it. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Now this opening game has certainly not gone their way in this point. But yeah, a touchdown, maybe a, a glimmer 
of hope for the long season ahead. And no one in this league likes to talk about moral victories. No one likes to really just say, okay, well, maybe something went right. But you're exactly right about that. A little glimmer there. Maybe they can carry it over moving forward. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers throwing here. Steps away to his left. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They put, they've got them not pinned down, but in a fair touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Saints take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Love throwing for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they take on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't crack who you've worked on into a game situation. Pretty much done for them. Touchdown, Carolina! Charles, a well-drawn-up play, beautifully executed. And look at the scoreboard and where we're at in the second half. They are on their way to a 1-0 start to this season. Exactly what every team in the league dreams of. Winning your season opener, getting off to that good start, and building confidence for the rest of the season. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Peoples-Jones going to elect not to run this out, and they'll begin at the 25. Let's go. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually work. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Ertz throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's out to the flat of Gibson. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and sneak it here. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. It's a quarterback sneak. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. Here we go. Here we and go. as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Ready? 
On third and short to give to the tight end. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Panthers, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road date next week when they take on Washington. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.